Hello gamers, I am the Red Dragon, and in this video we're taking a look at attacking on rush mode on Bad Company 2. And this is also going to double as an assault class guide. As you see, I'm using the XM8 with the smoke grenade attachment. Now, when you fire your assault rifle, you want to be sure that you're taking short controlled bursts. It's the most accurate way to fire your gun, especially from any distance whatsoever. And so if you want to be accurate, do that. Uh, you'll also see I'm, I'm reloading constantly after I shoot somebody and I see that it's clear. When you have a base that's out in the wide open like that, the smoke grenade attachment is the best best friend uh, to you and your teammates. Uh, this this makes it really uneasy for the uh, the team who has to go disarm that uh, objective because they don't know what's on the other side of the smoke. And it makes it easy for me to see on the other side uh, and, and gives me a lot of cover. It's almost like putting up a, a wall when it's not there, when it's been taken down. So as you see once again, just short controlled burst. Now you'll see when I'm uh, moving to the next objectives that I'm always going down the road less traveled. Right here I spot two enemies and uh, I do spot constantly and I get a lot of spot assist points. I've just made it a habit and it's a good habit to have. That way, you know, I spot them even before I start shooting a lot of times and, and that makes sure that even if I miss and uh, I, I don't put the enemy down, that at least one of my teammates is, is more than likely to see that, that spotting on them and will be able to take them down. So right here I'm just in the back of their base and uh, I'm not trying to spawn camp or anything. I'm just trying to set up a good position for my teammates to spawn on me. Uh, we want to hang out back here until the rest of the team up front uh, can move in and be ready to assault this base. And as you know, I'm sure if you've played Rush before you'll notice that the majority of the team will go right down the dead center of the map to get into the action. And I mean that's good because in order to, to do my technique, which is to try to sneak around, I need people to be a distraction for me. So I need them going up and getting right into the mix of the battle. A good team is always key to being successful in any game type on Bad Company 2. Uh, right here you see I'm running with a full squad. What you don't see is actually that I'm in an Xbox Live party uh, and we have eight people in here who are all on this same team uh, playing with us. So we're all communicating, working together. We have two squads right here working together. And uh, I always try to set up shop and try to watch the bases as people arm them from a distance. Um, you know, I know the majority of my team is on the other side of that, watching, uh, watching that side, so I'm watching it from the back end. And of course, I, th I throw out smoke to give them cover. Good work, man. This was all filmed on uh, one uh, complete attacking um, on rush mode. As you'll see, that I, I cut some parts out to be sure that I keep it within my 10 minute time limit. I believe the game lasted a little over 20 minutes. If you're running as the assault class you want to be sure that you're leaving ammo crates out when possible. Right here I'm trying to decide where to spawn but Bobby tells me that he's a sniper in the lighthouse and that he's almost out of ammo. Uh, so I spawn on him, I throw out um, a crate and as you see I get an easy 100 points. Uh, so it's not just about the points, you know I helped him out but you know if if you're looking for points and you're looking to to boost your rating it's an easy way to do it and that was only on one person once again i'm tra taking the the path less traveled i'm over here swimming trying to get into a position around the back of the base so i can let my teammates spawn on me right here i start getting shot so you always want to be sure that you're using uh, you know the the natural environment for your cover. So here was a, a little boathouse that I decided to use to uh, sneak in, uh, try to let my health come back up. 
And I was thinking, you know, maybe that guy was the guy shooting me. That's why he was coming down here. Now I've got some teammates spotting on me, so now I'm going to go ahead and, and push forward. But usually when I get to a position like this, I always try to point out and ask, say, hey guys, I'm in a good position. If you want to spot on me, let me know. And uh, they'll get back with me. If I need to wait a few minutes, I will to let them spawn on me. Because if I go down that way, I can spawn back on them. So it's just kind of like uh, leapfrogging. And we have a chopper up in the air. And if you're going to be using the chopper during a rush game, you know, it's, it's cool to be flying it. Um, and it's cool to be a gunner. But just remember, it's it's also a great vehicle for for getting around the map, and good squads will always use it to parachute troop uh, in uh, behind the base. Right here, you'll see that I, I sit here and I wait a while, and you may think that I'm just sitting here camping. What's really going on is my teammates and my and the chopper are telling me that they're about to drop out over the base, so I'm waiting on that to happen. Here it goes. I throw smoke to give these uh, this person a cover, and now I'm sitting here uh, protecting it from this side. You'll notice that we have a um, a light tank that's that's pushed up. This serves as a distraction. Uh, you know they're they're putting down uh, enemy units, but they're also a huge distraction. Uh, whenever you're the enemy trying to go after a base and you've got a huge uh, piece of armor sitting beside it. Right here you'll notice that if you looked on the map everybody was going left so once again I'm going far right and I'm just trying to work my way up into good position and it's 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 pretty much the same for every single map it's it's work your way around try to try to sneak in while the rest of the guys uh, and gals give you cover right here there's no walls so I, I throw up that smoke grenade smoke is a huge um, bummer for snipers and you all probably know by now that a lot of people like to run a snipers and when you throw up that smoke and they can't see through it, there's nothing that ticks them off more. Right here, see, with that smoke going in, that they have no idea what's around them or who's around them. Um, so it, it was basically like uh, I was just inviting them to come in and I was a able to easily take all those people down to get the objective. Once again, uh, Spoon, he's, he's got the, the light armor right here in the middle. One thing about the armor, uh, you know, you'll notice that I'm not in armor in this, in this round, but I do get in armor a lot. I do not get into armor if I'm an assault class. It, there's, there's no point really unless I'm just getting from point A to point B. Uh, leave the armor. Um, and vehicles to, to engineers because they're going to last a lot longer. They can get out and heal, heal you. One good tip for assault class is, you know, if there's anywhere where you can uh, run into an enemy, be sure that you're walking. Uh, have that gun out ready to aim. And always be sure that you aim down sights. So you see I'm using the foliage for cover. Moving up along the right side. Uh, to get into position. Right here I had my s snipers who were with me. Uh, I asked them for some sensors and they were able to throw them out so I saw that uh, A was pretty much uh, good to go. I throw smoke right here so even though that entire wall is blown out uh, they cannot see up here they don't know where I'm at. They know I'm up here because the base is armed uh, but my teammates have already told me they're watching the steps if they see anybody coming up that they can't kill 
uh, they're going to spot them for me. And you see uh, one enemy is down there on the bottom shooting grenades up. And that guy was lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, so it, it was an easy takedown of this base. From right here I have uh, a good view of the other enemy base as we're attacking it. I'm able to protect it and uh, you know we win the game easy going uh, going strong into the base every time and, and pushing hard. I'm just using that sneak attack and that's your uh, tips for assault uh, class and rush and good luck to you. If you're looking for more tips and strategies on Bad Company 2, be sure that you're checking out Battle Strats, Battlefield Guide. There's a lot of cool uh, information in there and help. Be sure to check out our forums too where we have tons of strategic gamers.